Now, if someone was to call you drab, or something that you did drab, or something that you wore drab, it wouldn't really be, you wouldn't usually think of that as a compliment. But here at the Hyde Park Barracks in the early 19th century, all of the external joinery, all of the timber work, that's the glazing bars, the window frames, the doors, all of that detailed work over the fan lights, it was painted in, in, a, in a finish called drab. And while most of the brickwork has survived two centuries, the, uh, the joinery, all of the external timber work, hasn't survived that well. And, and unlike brickwork that needs very little care and attention, all of the timber work needs constant painting. Now drab is an interesting word. It, it refers to something dull, cheerless, colourless, and over time it's come to be associated with a palette of colours. Um, you know, camouflage tones, um, greys, greens, dull browns. But in fact, drab originally wasn't a colour at all, it was a type of finish. Now long before paints became commercially available or commercially mass produced, painters almost always mixed up their paint on site. They'd be combining uh, lead, uh, oils, drying elements, um, and tints, you know, oxides and chemicals. But it was very expensive, and at the end of the job, if there was anything left over, nothing would be thrown away. And this gets us to the idea of drab. All of this leftover paint was commonly thrown together into a kind of a mystery mix. The mix would almost invariably turn out brown. It was essentially a, a paint that could be used in a whole lot of different areas. It could be used in um, you know, utilitarian factory walls, on, uh, on boats, on carriages, on carts, uh, on machinery itself. It was very useful, um, I guess, preservative for timber where colour wasn't an issue. So your typical 19th century drab was a fairly nondescript, probably pretty ugly mishmash of colours that ended up brown for some reason or another. But here at the barracks, we've probably gone for a slightly more cheerful version of drab. And as you can see, it's a, it's a slightly um, lighter coffee coloured brown. In many ways, disappears inside the brickwork. Basically, we didn't want the joinery to jump out. The, um, the, the original idea of the Hyde Park Barracks is, is, is to have brickwork and then windows in a kind of a constant repetition. Any extra detailing of the timber work with painting would actually kind of interfere with that. So, um, as you can see, it's a, it's a kind of a paint that disappears into the brickwork. So spare a thought for our specialist painters, hard at work on the windows and doors. Their work, if done properly, will be invisible. So, so much for taking pride in a job well done.